on the morning of Monday, May 29th, well over 400 runners and walkers gathered in downtown Lake Orion for the seventh running of the Orion Veterans Memorial Day 5K. It was the largest turnout in the race's history. The start finish line was set up near Children's Park and at 9 a.m. runners and walkers taking part in the five mile race began their journey. Then about 10 minutes later, those taking part in the 5K run were given the go ahead. The course took participants out onto Pink Creek Trail toward Clarkson Road, where they turned around and headed back to the finish line on Anderson Street. Crossing the finish line first was Eric Berg of Shelby Township, who took part in the five mile course. The 20 year old finished with a time of 2801.6. You know, our veterans have made such a great sacrifice uh, for us to enjoy the freedoms that we have, especially the freedom to run. Um, that's something that I just delight in and just enjoy so much is running. Uh, and I'm grateful that our veterans have created that opportunity for me. The first 5K runner to finish was 16 year old Anthony Gothley of Madison Heights. He finished with a time of 1830.7. Course was great. Uh, the path was really nice, nice and dense. Um, felt a little longer than I thought it would be. Um, other than that, it was a good race. What brought you out today? Why did you want to take part in this race today? Um, last year, one of my friends introduced me to the race, and then I have to be in the parade with my Boy Scout troop after this. Race fees and sponsorships allowed organizers to raise more than $10,000 for the maintenance and upkeep of the Orion Veterans Memorial. It was the first time in the event's history they passed that amount. The atmosphere is very exciting, especially with how many participants we have this year. So I am excited, they're excited, and like I said earlier, we couldn't have a more perfect day for this. This has become a tradition for people in our community, so what better way to start your Memorial Day off than celebrating our veterans and our beautiful memorial than participating in the race here, followed by the parade downtown. When we first talked about, you know, this, this was an idea at the Veterans Memorial Board, which I've served on since I've been the supervisor, uh, we talked about a way to try to get younger people and more of the community involved. We have a great tradition here with the VFW and the American Legion and the wreath ceremony and the parade and the, uh, of course the uh, annual um, ceremony at the memorial. But we, we wanted to try to y liven up the crowd a little bit and make sure that our, our next generation remembers and really understands what this day is about. And I kind of joke all the time, it's not about, it's not about eating hot dogs and, and tubing on the lake, although that's really important. The reason we're able to do that is because of the sacrifice that the people that came before us have made. So to see this become a great event with families and kids and everybody wearing red, white, and blue um, and the flags. And I'm looking at Jim Hubbard, who's here. Uh, it's it's incredible. This is this is what we dreamt of, and to see it to be, become a reality is is it's one of the really special things about our community. While runners were getting underway in downtown Lake Orion, a small group gathered at East Lawn Cemetery off Orion Road for the first of several ceremonies honoring those who lost their lives defending our country. Prior to the ceremony, American flags were placed at the graves of the veterans buried at East Lawn. American Legion Post 233 Commander Steve Hawkswell led the ceremony, and Auxiliary President Sandy Boyd placed a wreath at the World War Veterans Monument. The ceremony concluded with a gun salute and the playing of taps. At 10 a.m., a similar ceremony took place in Children's Park in downtown Lake Orion. This time, a wreath was dropped into the waters of Paint Creek to honor those who lost their lives at sea. Well, we had a lot of folks who were, were kind of never coming back into this little town. One family had three that were gone. And this, our little town, we love what we have here. We love our veterans. And I've been here since 1947, and we have always honored our veterans and those who have given their life. As we said, this is it. This is what we get. And this is why we have this wonderful, beautiful nation of the United States. 
At 11 a.m., residents lined the streets of downtown Lake Orion for the start of the Memorial Day Parade. The police department's 1941 police car led the way with retired Reserve Commander Dave Mercu behind the wheel. His passenger was 2023 honored veteran Bob Mahan of the U.S. Navy. Following the Vintage Ford were community groups and scouts, as well as the 338th Army Band out of Livonia, Michigan. The newly added Bike Brigade was a hit with the crowd. They were followed by numerous military vehicles and the Lake Orion High School Marching Band brought up the rear as the parade came to an end. At 1 p.m., things were bustling at the Orion Veterans Memorial as veterans, dignitaries, and members of the community gathered for the annual Memorial Day ceremony. Board Chair Dr. Joseph Mastro Mateo welcomed those in attendance and introduced the presenters, including Lieutenant Colonel Cynthia Wright of the U.S. Air Force, who gave the Memorial Day address. It's a day all Americans should take a moment out of the day to honor the more than 1.1 million men and women who made this act ultimate sacrifice for our country. The majority of those that had died, the 1.1 million, were certainly men. But I wanted to mention that women have been killed in every conflict or war since the Civil War. And since 9-11 and the global war on terrorism, 160 women have died in combat in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria. I think that's a fact that gets nobody knows about. Dr. Master Mateo also introduced 2023's honored veteran Bob Mahan, who served with the U.S. Navy. I feel that when we take our uh, oath of office, oath of, uh, from the United States military, I looked it up and it said that there's, there's no time limit on that. So I feel I should be here serving my uh, fellow, fellow veterans. Uh, our motto was we, we serve, the, we honor their dead by serving the living, the ones that are under your feet right here in this memorial. And I thank you for that. And I'm going to be serving our community to make it a better place to live in. Thank you for this honor. Following the placing of the wreath by Cynthia Wright, veterans took turns reading the names of those with Lake Orion roots who lost their lives during all U.S. conflicts from the Civil War to Operation Enduring Freedom. We will now go to the Vietnam veterans. Raymond I. Whipley. John A. Wood. Operation Freedom. Raymond J. Polar. Operation Enduring Freedom. Trevor Blaylock. 